Hello everyone, Kevin coming to you from my studio, bringing you a review, an unboxing, and comparison of the 24 volt mod, the original, which currently advertises itself as unleashing the power of, a, of your active pickups, 24 volt output, faster attack, increased headroom, improved tunnel response, smaller than a single 9 volt and uses replaceable batteries, meaning you don't have to do any additional routing. I'm looking forward to trying this bad boy. But first I'm going to unbox it and see what comes inside. I bought this without batteries, so I had to take a trip down to Home Depot, and for whatever reason, these batteries must be like toilet paper as of last year. They are very difficult to find, at least in my area in Massachusetts. These are the last two Home Depot had, and the website advertised this having about 23 of them yesterday. I don't know why they're so sought after, but I'm just glad I got my hands on one without having to wait for Amazon to ship them. All right. Here's the device itself. I don't know if it comes with a cover, but we'll see. It says, what does this say? Warning, choking hazard, keep away from children. Well, I don't have any children as of yet, so that's not a problem. All right, is this glued in there? Yes, it is. No, oh, that's annoying. Hopefully it's a good product. I'd like to put out a good word for the makers of this product, because I haven't seen anybody review it on base yet. Unexplored Frontier, in my opinion. Before we begin, just wanted to show off my highly modified Squire Affinity Precision Bass, loaded with an EMG P and an EMG Music Man or MMCS pickup in the bridge position. Got a Music Lily High Mass Bridge, Mighty Might Neck, Maple. I forget the brand of the tuners, but there's some cheap overseas version that you can buy on Amazon for like $18. They work pretty nice though for what they are and they're not too heavy. And a hip shot string retainer. String retainer. Right. Wanted to show off my signal chain real quick because the video that I had before uh, wasn't working where I was trying to record everything in Reaper. Um, I should notate before we begin that the waveforms between the 9 volt and the 24 volt are pretty much the same. It's just the headroom is increased and you can, the fundamental is brought out more with by the 24 volts. But anyways, as you can see here, this is the 9 volt, this is the 24 volt. All right, for my dirty channel, I'm using SHB1 by Ignite Amps and, an, and Tube Screamer clone by Ignite Amps for the, the extra dirt. Uh, for clean, I'm using an Ampeg SVTR Classic Brainworks. I think it's Plugin Alliance for the maker of the sim. It's a pretty nice sim. I got it for free under the code Ampeg for free when they are having it on a promotional. And of course, the TSE BOD, which is obviously a digital version of the Tech 21 Base Driver DI. Also, on my master bus, I have a tuner, a noise gate for added protection against the digital noise from my massive computer, a compressor, a EQ curve that I customized to get a better sound, tube power amp, uh, Pulse Lancaster audio uh, with a Celestian Vintage 30 by Shift Lane, custom, uh, free IR, and a Mesa R215 Mesa Boogie by Shift Lane. Um, Ampeg, excuse me, not Ampeg, Mesa Boogie Impulse Response, that's the word I'm looking for, followed by a high and low pass filter, and finally a limiter to keep everything, well, level. Thank you. Let us get on to the video, my brothers. Loops, brother. Right, here goes nothing. Gonna play slap gonna play finger and then I'm gonna attempt to play pick even though I'm not the best pick player.
Now a shortened version of that only on the neck pickup. <laughs> pick up. This is a little more mid-rangey. I'll do both pickups for the pick demonstration. I'll just do it. I'll just play a quick little riff. Uh, not nothing as complex as that last one. As you couldn't tell, I'm mostly a metal player. Do the bridge nick pick up next real quick, just that main riff, not the uh, little breakdown-y thing after that. the bridge pickup. In case you couldn't tell, the reason I was interested in this mod in the first place was because the uh, bridge pickup sounds a little thin on its own, and I was hoping the extra headroom would fix that. We'll see in a little bit, though. I finally got the pick guard off. Let's do the swap now, just so you guys know I actually went through with this. Uh, 
On a side note, if you're ever tempted to mod a precision base of any kind to add an active circuit, it is absolutely worthwhile to get the battery box and the battery compartment separate from the pick guard because this was a real pain in the neck. I'll keep it PC or PG, depending on your political linings with my language this time. It was a pain in the neck to get the, the, all the screws out of this thing, but that's beside the point. Let's make sure, let's uh, throw this baby in and see what we got. Oh, I put it in correctly. No, 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 no routing necessary, even though I might, I will have my tech out of battery box of this thing at some point. Hello again everyone, I did the mod, here is the sound. Once again playing the same riffs and maybe some bonus riffs because I can hear everything a lot better and to be honest I think this was worth the $25 I paid for it. I mean that in a good way.
Good night.